for a second before we get ahead of ourselves. This is actually the story of how our adventure began. Hey puppy. Yeah? What would you like to do for your birthday? Funny you mention it. <laughs> I like to go play. Okay, where would you like to go? Somewhere tropical, like Ranawashi. Oh, I'm sorry, Tori, I don't think we can get there that short notice. Well, I have another way. I've been practicing some magic. Come with me. Wait for me. Hey, Raquel, come through. Have you seen this place? Now, this is what I call birthday. Maybe it didn't quite start that way. So, let me speed you through the travel bit of the story. Vanuatu is a four hour flight from Melbourne, which meant that we said our last goodbyes at the airport to our electronic devices, got comfy in our plane seats, enjoyed a calm flight before landing in the rain, jumped on a van for a short-ish trip in the complete darkness to our accommodation before being greeted by a beautiful resort and lovely refreshments. We were then treated to a dinner of gourmet homemade pizzas, followed by a cheeky cool down swim in the pool before going to bed. The Nakatumba Resort is a few steps away from the beach and is owned and managed by Bill and Romina who are absolutely amazing and caring hosts. The main part of the accommodation is huge, with lots of comfy areas to unwind. The resort has four main bedrooms, each with their own ensuite. I loved trying out all of the relaxing locations where I could enjoy the view of the ocean. We also loved all of the artwork that was placed across the accommodation. And for those that know me, I particularly loved all of the books that were available for us to read at our leisure. day would start with mum and dad enjoying a hot drink at the beach whilst the rest of us were still sound asleep. At the dad, Alex and Bill would then go on a morning run around the local area with Bill often taking them on a mini adventure. Whilst our sisters chose a more leisurely pace for our morning exercise and shared lots of laughs along the way. <laughs> we had then earned the right to chill out for a bit. The days were then spent exploring the local area, either within the resort or venturing further afield. On a couple of occasions, Bill took us paddle boarding and surfing right near Nakatumble. This is the life of Vanuatu. We're going to a private lagoon. I love paddle boarding, especially when we would stop a few hundred metres away from the beach and simply dive into the water to snorkel. The coral was absolutely stunning. So many colours. And when we felt tired, or in my case injured, we simply hitched a ride or a tow back to the beach. In terms of evening activities, we would often end up all relaxing by the pool or enjoying the tranquil rock pool. Yeah, so tranquil. In 
In terms of activities around the island, these are some that we experienced and recommend. We'd also like to give a shout out to Steve and Ruben, who were our tour guides organised by Romina. They were awesome. We'll leave you their details in the description below. In terms of an aromatic tourist attraction, we really enjoyed the Town of Coffee Roasting House. We learnt about the coffee industry, got to enjoy a lovely drink at the Sea Facing Cafe and had some fun. One of our favourite memories was dinner at the beach bar, followed by the best fire show that we have ever seen. Our recommendation would be to book a table a day ahead and then turn up early to have a swim before a sunset dinner and the show. I like the choreography and the variety of tricks. Enjoy dancing with the performers at the end of the show. Today we're heading out on a day trip. We're going all around the island, including seeing waterfalls and the Blue Lagoon. We're currently in Port Vila, which is the capital of Vanuatu. As you can see, it's very busy. I loved the market as they were by the sea and they had lots of locally made souvenirs. Our next stop was one of our favourite experiences, the Blue Lagoon. The drive was really interesting. Steve and Ruben had lots of fascinating facts about Vanuatu and its history. We were at the famous Blue Lagoon of Vanuatu. rope swing, I also loved exploring the lagoon. Mum and Dad suggested the next time we should get Romina to pack us a picnic and come to the lagoon for the day. I am not sure if I am more excited about the idea of spending a whole day at the lagoon or about Romina's picnic. Our next 
stop was the La Life Resort for lunch. It had an amazing beach and the staff were very lovely. Today we're at a restaurant called La Life for lunch. the blue water and breaking waves in the distance, hypnotising. Behind us is an island with a dormant volcano. As soon as we arrived at the Turtle Sanctuary, we received a brief from one of the staff. It was interesting to find that this variety of turtle is fourth on the critically endangered list and that the whole sanctuary was dependent on volunteers and public donations. We were so impressed by the whole experience that we just sponsored a turtle called Minu. Shortly thereafter, we were off to a secluded beach where we had lunch and went on two incredible snorkeling trips. I was excited about our new full face snorkeling mask. So after a few minutes making sure that they were fitted properly, it was time to jump in. As soon as we were in the water, the fish stole the show. The places where we snorkeled were two very large underwater volcanic plateaus. Although the fish immediately caught our eyes, it did not take long before we noticed all of the colourful coral. In fact, it didn't take too long before we started spotting other interesting marine life. Snorkeling over and through these coral gardens was simply breathtaking. I did not know where to look. and at the same time exhilarating was the moment when my eyes were focused on the beautiful coral and playful fish 
and then it all disappeared 20 plus meters below me. It felt like I was flying off a cliff. But like all good things, it eventually had to come to an end. On an island, waiting for you to come around. I've been going crazy, sending fires to the We would like to finish this video by giving a specific tribute to all of the delicious food that Romina and her staff cooked for us. We all agreed that the different cuisines that were presented to us each and every meal had a massive positive impact on our overall experience. Thank you Ruben, Steve, Lorena, the other Nakatumbo staff and especially to Bill and Romina for a collection of memories that we'll treasure forever. Distance, building castles in the sand. Are we hopers, dreamers, expecting it would last? That it would last in all the ways, like the fortresses we made. Definitely be back soon. Stuck here thinking where did it